Hi folks, it's Mike Murphy, and today's quick tip is an Adobe After Effects CC 2020. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add this subtle light streak effect to add some interest to your animations. Let me show you how to do it in Adobe After Effects CC 2020. I'm going to click on New Composition, 1920 by 1080 pixels is great. I'll click on OK. I'm going to click on T for the Type tool. I'm just going to click and type out my name, M-I-K-E. I'm going to click on the Move tool so I can align it to the center. So I'll come over here to the Align panel. It's going to align it to the center. Now we're going to come over here to the Effects and Presets. I'm going to do a search for Light Sweep. SW, so there's CC Light Sweep. I'm just going to click and drag it right onto the text. If I look in the effect controls, I can see that the CC light sweep effect has been added. And if I look at the text, I can see a light source. But when I hit the space bar, you'll see that no animation is happening. So now we need to animate the light source so it sweeps across the text. When you click on CC light sweep in the effect controls, you will see this little anchor point right here. And if I just click on that and drag it, as I drag it, you should see the light source changing. So what we need to do is animate this anchor point. I'm going to drag my playhead to the beginning. I'm going to click on CC light sweep. Then I'm going to click on the anchor point and drag it to the left side. I want my light sweep to go from left to right, but you can do it from any angle that you want. But I'm going to start over here on the left side. Then I'm going to click on the stopwatch next to center. I'll tap on U to reveal all keyframes and you'll see that a keyframe has been set. I'm going to drag the playhead. Let's say the two frame mark here. This is where I want the animation to end. I'll click on the anchor point and I'm just going to drag it to the right. I'm going to hold the shift key so it stays in a straight line and I'll just let go when it gets through all of the letters. You'll see it automatically creates that second keyframe. If I bring the playhead back and press the space bar to preview, you will see now I have a light sweep going through the letters. And there are a bunch of different customization options. You can change the direction, you can change the width, the intensity. You can also change the color. If you just click on this color swatch, you can change the color of the light source to anything you want and you'll see you get that change. And I find this to be a pretty cool effect. If you go to light reception and click on this drop down and select cut out, you'll see here now you've got the light sweep just revealing the letters and a really kind of a cool subtle effect. If you want to reverse it, just select both keyframes, hit Command C, hit Command V, then just right click on this keyframe, go to Keyframe Assistant, Time Reverse Keyframes. I bring it back to the beginning, I'm going to hit the space bar, you can see it's go from left to right, then it's going to go back right to left. My name is Mike Murphy and that is how you add a light sweep effect in Adobe After Effects CC 2020. Cheers!